All right, everyone, welcome to this weekend horoscope for April 3rd through the 5th. My name is Athen. So we have the very transformative lunar eclipse here in Virgo coming up on Saturday. In the morning, for those of us in America, in the evening of Friday night for the rest of the world. This is uh, a lunar eclipse that's happening very close to this Uranus-Pluto activity. And that Uranus-Pluto is still within that one degree orb and will be as we approach this coming week. So it's very, very active. And this is about, again, releasing the old spiritual concepts, the old unconscious belief systems and patterns in our life, which is Uranus in that south node in Pisces. Moving from that, moving towards a more grounded perspective. This is the Virgo energy. This is where the north node's traveling all year and that's what's really being activated by this it's a total eclipse it's happening within five degrees of that north node so this is virgo this is about grounding your spirituality embodying it being it living it whether it's the christed teachings the buddhic teachings that presence that all that is energy on earth within self and that's what virgo is it's the embodiment it's the refinement of these spiritual principles so very powerful and the key here is balance we don't want to go to any extreme on either of these polar axes. we don't want to go into the pisces energy of complete escapism and just spiritual aloofness and we don't want to get into the extremes of just physical reality and the day-to-day -day stuff and escaping that way because that can also be an escape so balancing these two energies and the way i would describe that is grounding your spirituality. That can mean so many things for all of us individually. And this is all happening in a per particular house of your chart. So for more information, check out your monthly or weekly horoscope for this lunar eclipse. But let's go ahead and talk about how it's transpiring. On Friday, the moon's gonna be in Virgo, leading into that lunar eclipse. So a continued day here on Friday of walking that middle path with Virgo. It's about self-improvement. It's about your health. It's what this whole year is about. It's about watching what you take into your etheric, physical, mental, emotional, spirit, spiritual sphere through maybe your diet, through if you're watching television, if you're exposed to certain things that are changing your physical physiology. So being observant of your temple, of who you are, what you're embodying is one element of this. That's the improvement element. The other element is crafts. We're developing crafts this year. That's a big element of this lunar eclipse as well. And overall, again, living, being, that compassion. So walking that middle path there and the two other extremes might be the perfectionism, might be trying to control the details, but that's not the middle path of Virgo. The middle path is that spiritual, divine, grounded perspective. So I think we're certainly going to have that balancing act here on Friday as well. Also because the moon's going to be opposing up to Mercury. So we're having a lot of intuition, having a lot of information come through our dream space. And it's very spiritual. It's very deep. It's very unconscious. So balancing these things, I think, is definitely going to be key on Friday. And if there is any type of opposing to your feelings and your thoughts, finding that middle ground, bringing your feelings and thoughts together, having that presence, but also through action is going to be the best utilization of this. The moon's gonna be trining up to Saturn, so there's a good discipline energy on Friday. The sun is still trining up to Jupiter, so very expansive energy still, very positive day in general on Friday. And the moon is gonna be conjuncting up to the North Node, so I think we're all gonna be wanting to move forward, wanting to move towards our life path, maybe through these Virgo things in particular, whatever it is for you, and seeing the open horizons with that Jupiter energy. Now that lunar eclipse is also activating Jupiter in a very positive way. Jupiter is a very good benefic with all this transformation stuff that's been taking place. The moon's going to be sextiling up to Jupiter, trining up to the sun. So there is the open horizons. There is the possibilities. So tap into that. It's an opportunity. It's there. We have to see it. We have to be open to it. There's divine guidance, spiritual guidance. There's principles. There's philosophy. There's things coming in to assist us with all these changes. Now on Sunday, the moon shifts into Libra, which is uh, energy of balancing. So I'm getting a strong sense of this balancing for the whole weekend, but especially on Sunday with the moon here. So this is balancing within self primarily, which is having that balance with feelings and thoughts, having balance with action 
and non-action, any type of polarity, having that middle path, the grounded path, the balanced path is going to be key. On Sunday, the moon opposes up to Mars. So there might be that needing to balance things with action, with taking that physical approach to things. So all in all, balance, I think, is going to be the highlight here, in particular with the spiritual stuff and the grounded stuff, along with the action and feelings and thoughts and feelings will be key in the balancing area. And walking that middle path as best as you can and being the agent of your change and the agent of who you are, being yourself, breaking free spiritually within. All right, so let's go and draw a card, see what spirit would like a little more attention on here in the astrology. <clears throat> okay, Scorpio. Well, Scorpio is about transformation. It's about change, and that's where Saturn is retrograde right now at the moment. So while all this is happening, there's this physical restructuring. We're thinking about these structures we're building in life, whether they're emotional structures in Scorpio or physical structures such as, you know, our work, things like this, where we're laying our foundations. But it's all in reflection. So perhaps this is a reminder from Spirit to continue reflecting while there's all this change happening. Remember that Saturn is still retrograde, which is that the structures are being reworked. The structures, the definitions are being reconsidered, and rehashed. So reflect on these things. But also, I think this is probably a greater message to remember that life is about change. That's the Scorpio energy. Life is constantly changing and being open to that, accepting that. And this is change within self, change of all aspects of self and of the external environment as well. All right, have a good weekend, everyone. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you again for all of your support, and I will talk to you all on Monday. Take care.